Hello everyone. Today we'll examine the differences between dimensions and metrics in Looker Studio. We'll look at them through field types and their use in visualizations. Let's go to the section of fields in the resource we previously added to our report and see what fields we have. So, let's start with dimensions. Dimensions describe and classify your data. Dimensions contain non-aggregated data and are displayed as green fields in the editor. Adding dimensions to a chart groups data by these dimensions. For example, if we return to our report, we can see that our dimensions include categories, items, categories of transactions, and grouping can also be done through dates. Let's go back to our fields. So we learned that they group data, and importantly, a dimension can be of any data type, including a column of non-aggregated numbers. That is, we can see that we have text values, dates, and numerical values, but they are not aggregated. In other words, this will be just a column that we can use and aggregate later, for example, within the charts themselves. Moving on to metrics. Metrics measure our dimensions. They contain only aggregated data and are displayed as blue fields in the data source editor and in our report properties. A metric is essentially the result of applying an aggregation to a set of values. This aggregation can come from the base data set or can be the result of an implicit or explicit application of aggregation, such as through count, sum, or average. Let's look at this in the visualizations themselves. So, in our visualizations, we also have sections for dimensions and sections for metrics. It's important to understand that the metrics we have in the fields can only be used as metrics, as they cannot be used for grouping or breaking down into categories. However, our dimensions can also be used as metrics. Let's look at the example of income. We derived it in such a way through a formula so that from our category we could select only those transactions that fall under the income category. And accordingly, calculate the sum. Here we did not aggregate the data, and in this case, we used the dimension as a metric by setting up our aggregation in the report editing field. And it was set by default to sum. But also using these dimensions as a metric, we can, for example, set the average value and so on. But let's keep the sum. Also, when talking about non-numeric data, because we have been mostly using numeric data, we could have made a sum or anything else, but for example, we can also convert one of our text data into a metric. For instance, if we output a total for our categories, it will show the number of categories used in our report. From which our data is constructed. That is, sometimes when we need to count the number of text values, such as the number of customers displayed as surnames or other text categories, we can also use them as a metric if we need to count the number of values. So, let's return our report to its final state. And I also want to note that until you have set aggregation through a formula or converted dimensions to a metric, you can manually switch the aggregation type depending on your needs. However, it is necessary to note that if you want to create a calculated field using arithmetic formulas, you must either use already existing metrics or set aggregation within the formula itself. What does this mean? Let's look at the example of the net income formula I created earlier. So, we know that this is the difference between all income and all expenses. Here I used a green field of our values, which means it's through a dimension. We add our aggregation. And we use a blue field, which means our metric. If we look at our expenses field, we converted it to a metric by first selecting all transactions that combine expenses and then set its aggregation through sum to sum all these values. 
and then we could use our metric without problems through arithmetic calculations. If, for example, we now remove the aggregation from income, essentially it will be seen as a dimension, and we will get an error that only aggregated values can be used in arithmetic formulas. Accordingly, it's important not to forget about this moment when you will be writing and creating any calculated fields. In general, that's all you need to know. The main difference is that our dimensions are a set of non-aggregated values, while metrics are a set of necessarily aggregated values. We can use metrics in our visualizations only as metrics whereas dimensions we can use both as dimensions and metrics, automatically setting the aggregation through our chart settings that we need for a given visualization. Overall, that's it. Thank you for your attention. I hope this will help you in advancing your reports. Give it a like if you enjoyed the video. If you still have any questions, ask them in the comments.